So here I'm in Painter 2021 and I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite features in Painter for a long time now, especially for those of you that are not familiar with this feature and it is the category of brushes called Image Hose. These brushes are wonderful in that they paint with a series of images. Now your images can be hand drawn, they can be photographs, they can be just about anything. You can find some default nozzles that come with Painter 2021 under the Media Panels, Nozzles. It opens an image hose palette with nozzle libraries and they have all of these different images. They can be really virtually anything you would want. Anything where you might need to paint multiples, uh, leaves, flowers, anything where you've got to repeat a lot of. So this is the image hose brush with nozzles. And I'm going to clear this. We're going to create our own image hose nozzle. And we'll put it in a library. And I will create a new image file. And 400 by 400 is about a good size. Don't need anything particularly big. So here is my new file. I'm going to create a new layer. And what I'm going to do is create this circular marquee. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to choose a light blue color and a dark blue. That'll be fine. And I'm going to fill this selection with a gradient. So instead of current color, I'm going to go with gradient. I want to see the gradient palette. And the reason I want to see this is because I want to use a circular gradient. I can deselect that and this is going to be the basis for our nozzle file. Now this is very, very, very simple nozzle. Most nozzles are groups of multiple images. In this case we're going to have a nozzle that's only a group of one. I will right click that and I'm going to make that single layer into a group. Now there's only one object in the group but this is fine. When you build or save a nozzle, you need to do it from a group of layers with uh, multiple images. In this case, I'm making it from one object. So I'm going to make nozzle from group. And this automatically creates a new image file. And this image file I'm going to save as a nozzle. Take this untitled image and I will do a file, save as. I suggest you save it somewhere where you know where you're going to save it and can find it again. I have a tendency to misplace things if I'm not careful. I'm going to call it Blue Sphere. And usually what I will do is I will put on a suffix of nozzle. That way when I'm sorting through files I can find my nozzle files separately from any individual RIF files of the same name. It is important then you save it as a RIF file. Don't save it as anything else. Now see this new file is called Blue Sphere Nozzle. And you can now close that. Now I'm back to my original image here. And what I need to do to get my nozzle file in. Come down to the nozzle library and I load nozzle. It's going to ask me where I want to go. And this is why it's important that you put it somewhere where you understand where you're putting it. Otherwise you may never find it again if you've got as much junk on your computer as I have on mine. So I go to my nozzles folder and I pick the blue sphere nozzle. Now it doesn't look like anything has happened. So I'm going to select the brush and it is the active nozzle file. And the amazing thing is that it does work well even though there's one element. So it kind of looks like the basics of, I don't know, maybe a worm or something. There it is. I'm going to tweak the brush just a little bit. So I'm going to click and open the advanced brush controls. Spacing. I move the spacing down. Things get closer and closer together. So now it gets even looking more worm-like or whatever you want it to be. I am going to make the size consistent. There will be no change. So the size is only this size now. So my brush is now set like I want it to be set. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save a variant and I'll just put Dawn's Blue Fear. Now I know which brush to go right back and find when I'm using this. 
So what I'm going to do now is add the nozzle to the library. Blue sphere nozzle, you don't need to have the rift part on. Click enter or OK. And now you can see it appears here in the bottom of my nozzle libraries. I'm going to create a new nozzle library to put my own nozzles in. I'll just call it Dons. And I'm going to click on this and I'm going to drag it here until you see the little blue boundary marker and lift up. And now my blue sphere nozzle is in my own library. From start to finish, really easy. Taking an image hose and creating a very, very simple nozzle file using only one element and making it look like essentially you're painting a tube. So there you have it. Image hose brushes and nozzles, one of my favorite features. So there again in Painter 2021 is creating a very simple image hose nozzle and using a slightly customized image hose brush to paint with it.